Here we are at UC Expo in Manchester, in person, and I'm with Jamie Snadden, who's the Managing Director for EMEA at 8x8. Hi, how are you doing, Jamie? Uh, hi, Rob. I'm very well, thank you. Very well. It's good to be here. It's great to be here, isn't it? I mean, in person as well, and you know, it's got a really nice vibe about it, this event, and yeah. what a fantastic venue. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. It's great to see everybody out. There's been an excellent amount of footfall. The sun's been shining. Um, yeah, it's been a good day all round. Yeah, good day all round. Good stuff. So I'm interested to go here what's going on eight by eight. But before that, how about we just talk about kind of you know what's dominating those customer conversations right now? I know there's you know a lot of hype around hybrid work at the moment. So I was kind of keen to just kind of see what you were picking up on the most. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. So um, I guess the, the the most dominant question that we're seeing at the moment in terms of trends are uh, Teams integration. We're seeing a lot of. Uh, questions around uh, the requirement now of having their phone, uh, customers having their phones and their contact center solutions being able to integrate it with their Teams experience. Um, but very important that that Teams experience doesn't change, the user interface doesn't change. Uh, so that seems to be dominating near enough every conversation that we're having, um, which is quite good for 8x8. We, this, is, we, this sort of marries up with what we're seeing. We're seeing a, a huge demand in our, in our Teams Direct routing capability. I think we're running it now just over 150,000 users across a range of different industries enterprises public sector um, and it's a, a, a core uh, you know a core strength of ours is called out by Gartner in their 2021 uh, magic quadrant report so so doing well for us but yeah it's, it's remarkable that we're seeing that near enough in every conversation we're having fantastic and in terms of um, hybrid work I mean we we're talking about adaptive work were we talking about adaptive spaces earlier I mean it was quite interesting what you were saying about kind of maybe we're moving a little bit beyond those hybrid work or the hybrid work strategies now. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, I mean the hybrid hybrid working. I mean that seemed to be the the buzzword of of only a year ago. And we're already seeing a move away from that concept to a, a more adaptive style of working now, where rather than having this sort of myopic view of it's either the office or it's home, it's around making sure that that staff have got the right tools that they can do their job productively from wherever they are, be it the office the home, the train, the plane, the cafe, supply facility, doesn't matter, you know, as long as they've got that, that tool and, and, and it doesn't matter what device they're using, you know, it's setting them up so they can be productive and adaptive wherever they are. That's fantastic. And, and UC is underpinning a lot of these strategies, whether the adaptive working strategies, hybrid work strategies, but, you know, what have you got on, a sh on the show at 8x8, you know, here at uh, UC Expo Manchester? Yeah, so today we're, we're bringing two of our new innovations, um, what we call our conversational IQ and our agent workspace. So I'll touch on them individually. Our conversational IQ is our, a, a really, really cool um, tool and it sort of brings uh, capabilities that were traditionally only for contact center agents uh, to across any user on the 8x8 platform. And it essentially allows companies, supervisors, leaders to really get into um, the conversations that our employees having and, and, and gain insights so that can prove improve um, customer experience or team performance. Um, uh, so that's really, really good. And being able to do that across the whole organization is, is quite revolutionary. Uh, the second one is our agent workspace. Really excited about that one. We've, it's, it's a whole new interface now that sort of uniquely brings together our UC and CC elements um, within one application um, and essentially allows the agent now to have a much better interface, speed up navigation, interactions with customers, which essentially will improve the overall customer experience. And ultimately, that's what it is all about, isn't it? Improving that experience. Exactly. That's exactly what it's all about. Yeah. <laughs> so, looking into the future, um, I'm keen to just kind of understand you know, kind of what you think about, you know, uh, you know, the year ahead, I suppose, or what's left of this year and maybe the year after. What, what's coming around the corner? What should organisations be looking out for? Yeah, that's a, a really good question. Um, I think, look, you know, it, it's, everyone reads the news. You can see some of the challenges we're up against from a macroeconomic perspective, geopolitical issues, uh, you know, and that uncertainty creates a little bit of uh, inertia, perhaps. But I think, I think companies are going to go beyond that. I think they're really going to press on with this digital transformation, particularly as we're moving to this sort of adaptive workforce style. Uh, so we're going to see a lot more in this space, particularly around collaboration, particularly around customer engagements. Uh, we're seeing these tools becoming much more accessible, less expensive to use, uh, you know, and it's becoming key differentiators now across organizations. So I think we'll really, really still see the acceleration we've seen in the last couple of years. That'll still uh, play through this year. Uh, I think another 
area that we'll probably see um, some growth in is 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 a, a more move away from the traditional on-premise businesses. There are still a few industries out there that are that really are uh, uh, you know, embedded within these uh, within the on-premise uh, on-premise technology, um, financial services, manufacturing. You know, and they're now steadily coming to market as they're getting more comfortable with the cloud offering, um, understanding about how it can fit their business model, fit their security requirements, fit their end user requirements. So I think we're going to see a lot more. It'll be staged, um, but I think you'll see the first stages of their migration really starting to kick on this year. Thank you, Jamie. Uh, really good talking to you today, and I wish you the very, very best for the rest of the show. Brilliant, Rob. Thank you. Enjoyed speaking to you. Thank you.